Hi, this is Tim Cashel with the Evolve Academy, and today we'll be covering switching simulator configurations. So let's say you're working in the simulator and you want to change either the card set, or you want to change to a different type of processor, such as an S3. Well, we're going to start by switching our configuration here to an S3 processor instead. So first of all, we have to close down the simulator that's currently running. And this does take a little bit to close down, so don't be alarmed if it doesn't shut right away. Next, we need to go to our directory and look for the C drive on our machines. And then go to the directory that's called Barco. And then look for your most recent version of Event Master Toolset and open that folder. Then you're going to go to the folder labeled WVP underscore 9876. And in there, you're going to find two folders. You're going to open the folder called SIM. And in the SIM folder, you'll find a bunch of SIM HW or SIM hardware files. The SIM HW file is the one that the simulator uses to configure the cards for the simulator frame. The other files that are in this directory are E2s, E2 juniors, S3s, and S3 juniors that you can replace the SIM hardware file with to show the card sets for those particular models. So like I said, we're going to change this to a SIM uh, S3. So we're going to click on the SIM S3 hardware file and copy it, right click it and copy. And then we're going to paste that to the same folder here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to delete the original SIM hardware file. So right click and delete. And then we're going to rename the copy file we just made as SIM HW or SIM HW. Then once we have the file renamed, we're going to go ahead and go back out to our simulator and restart it. While we're waiting for the sim to restart, it's worth noting that simulator changes can only be done on the PC version of EM Toolset. The native Mac version does not have a simulator and therefore card configurations cannot be changed. Now that our simulator is up and running, if we go back into our EventMaster toolset, we see that the frame is now configured as an S3. So now we can play with or configure an S3 system in the simulator. But what if you want to go back to your original E2 card configuration? Well, you can close down the simulator, go back to your sim hardware directory, right click on the sim HW E2 file, Make a copy of it, then paste it, then delete the original SIM hardware file, and rename your copy as SIMHW. Now when you restart the simulator, it'll have the original E2 card configuration. But what if you want to do a custom card configuration? So let's say, for example, we want to replace the two DVI cards in this configuration with two combo cards. Likewise, we want to take the two HDMI output cards and replace them with SDI output cards. Here's how you do it. Again, let's go out and let's close down the simulator. We're going to go out to our SIM hardware file again this time right clicking on it and selecting open with and then choosing one of the programs. I usually like working in notepad, so we're going to use notepad. Now if you take an overview of the text you're seeing here, you'll notice that it describes cards, slots, card types, and the easiest thing to do to make a modification is not to delete any lines, but simply modify the lines to match the card type that you want to change it to. If you ever get lost or can't find the card type you're looking for, you can always reload the SIM hardware file with the SIM HWE2 file to get back to the default card configuration. So for this example, we're going to be changing the cards in slot 4 and 5 to be 
HDMI DisplayPort cards instead of DVI cards. So first of all, we're going to change the types to match the HDMI DisplayPort cards, which are type 2. Then we're going to change the input number from 2 to 4. And then we're going to change the name of the card from DVI to HDMI underscore DP. Then we can repeat that process for the card in slot 5. So again, we're going to change the type to type 2. We're going to change the input from 2 to 4. And change the name from DVI to HDMI underscore DP. So modifying the output card is going to be very similar. There's another little detail to keep in mind, and that's the card ID. Uh, the last card here, the SDI card, is our template we're going to use. Uh, first of all, we're going to change the card ID. Now, the SDI cards are ID 415. In this case, we're going to change this card to 413, basically taking that 415 number and backing it up by two digits. Then we're going to change the type from 22 to 21. And then change the name of the card from HDMI to SDI. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the next output slot. Change the card ID from 4 to 414. Change the type to 21. And change the name from HDMI to SDI. All right, so now we should have our input cards and our output cards modified to match this new card configuration. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the File tab, and we're going to save this and effectively overwrite our SIM hardware file that currently exists. Now we can close this window, and we'll go out and relaunch the simulator. So once the simulator restarts, We'll go ahead and take a look inside of Event Master Toolset. And what we'll see is the card configuration has changed. Our DVI is replaced with combo cards, and we have three SDI output cards now. Now, if you were to go back into the SIM hardware directory, you could actually right click on SIMHW, copy it, and save it as a new file with this new card configuration. I'm Tim Cachot with the Evolve Academy. Thank you for watching.